What the heck is up, boys? So today I got another battle for you here. And this is going to be just against a random person I found in the union room. But I really enjoy doing these just to, like, uh, see what uh, other people are running. Stuff like that. So for this team here, I'm going to be running one of my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon. That's going to be Swellow, our bird boy there. And yeah, so for this team, it's kind of like I have a couple of, like, sweepers here so swallow can do a ton of damage lucario can set up really hard uh tangrowth is just our tanky boy and we needed a couple special attackers so i went with gengar and latios because those are some of my favorites and yeah so this guy's going to start off with the uh dragonite which i mean is a pretty solid start honestly compared to like what my team could have like brought out first um i noticed that i'm going to want to have my rocks up as soon as possible for his team especially with that Dragonite. So I was like, okay, um, I wanna just kill the Dragonite, so I went for Icicle uh, Spear here, but unfortunately he switched out. But I do actually end up getting super lucky here and getting the uh, five smacks on this, uh, on this, what is it, Caesar. Every team nowadays seems to have Caesar. Like no matter what team I go against, you gotta bring like some for those Caesars, I'm just saying. All right, so now I'm just like, okay, Caesar will not one-shot me because I have the Focus Sash, and um, I can pretty much just let Mamoswine die at this point um, if I needed it to, but I don't need it to. So here I'm going to get my rocks up. I knew he was going to bullet punch just to get um, just to get more damage on me. And I'm gonna get swap, and I'm gonna swamp out here. I'm like, okay, well, Lucario shouldn't take that much damage from a bullet punch, right? And I know if he doesn't take a lot of damage, I can definitely sweep against uh, the rest of his team. So I'm gonna send out Lucario here, and this bullet punch actually did way too much damage. Like, this is a bad amount of damage. I did not expect to do like half my health in one bullet punch, and I'm like, um, in this situation, I'm just like. Do I swap and take more damage, or do I go for the kill? And I'm just like, okay, I'll go for the kill. So it goes for a second bullet punch, and I know I can live it because uh, the damage it did last time. So I'm going for the close combat, and the life orb is going to get get me super close here to uh, dying. But I know since I have extreme speed, I have priority over every move in the game. So I can definitely um, hit anything at least decently well. Especially with this Lucario, it's supposed to be a setup kind of Lucario with a sword stance, and this thing can actually like sweep teams really well. Okay, so he's going my Lodic, and I know for a fact that I'll never be able to one shot on my Lodic unless I'm like super like stacked with the uh, buffs. And I'm just like, okay, well, what can I do here? And I decide to go for the close combat. That's my hardest hitting move, and I know that I'll just be taken out uh, if from my life orb i figured he would have recovered here but i didn't know if he had it or not usually they go recover uh, i get really really high damage on him which it was not expected for me i figured i would have done a lot more um he's going to go for the skull just to take me out and he has the flame orb to get that marvel skill bonus i'm like okay well what can i do here and I was like, well, Swallow needs to get uh, his poison here for it because we're running guts on this guy. And this guy actually really hurts. So I figured I could just kill it with the facade. Um, just because. But I ended up going for the Braper just in case because I know it does have the, uh, the fire, uh, the flame orb. So it has a lot of extra defense. So I just go for the Braper knowing it won't do a lot of recoil because I, uh, it had... Not a lot of health. Alright, so I get my Toxic here, and I'm doing pretty solid right now. I'm ha keeping my momentum up in terms of, like, um, keeping my team healthy and dealing enough damage. So here I'm just like, okay, this guy probably won't one-shot me, and it's not like, even if he body slams, I'm not going to get the Paralysis. So I can definitely go for the Facade. It's going to hit really hard because it's got Stab on top of the Poison on top of Guts. And that does a lot of damage. I thought I would have done a lot more, but I guess not. But I figured he thinks I would have done a lot less here, too, uh, due to the fact that he, uh, he cursed. So he gets his buff, but I know for a fact that I can definitely just facade next turn, even with the uh, even with the curse. And then 
um, I can take this Snorlax out and he definitely won't uh, be able to set up against me. Which is kind of what I was worried about with this team. It doesn't have a lot of like anti setup. So it's more just a sweeping kind of team. But yeah, so I get the knockout on there. And next he brings out his next big boy of the team here. And that's going to be, uh, let's see here. That's going to be his, uh, Lost. Never mind. I thought this was a weird one. I've never seen this one. Actually, you know what? I, I, I will take it back. This was one of the big boys on this team. Because this thing had a crazy moveset. Uh, so this one has, is, um, it was Sleep Powder. I saw a Strength Sap right here. That move is ridiculous. Look at this health. Look at the health it gets. So, and, and the fact that I should have probably gone for the Brave Bird in this situation now that I think about it. That definitely would have one-shot it, especially with... But I didn't want to take the recoil damage just in case I needed to keep, like, fighting on him. So, I was... I probably could have taken this thing out, but I know it's not a big threat. So, I'm just going in the U-turn just to keep up, like, the momentum that I have right now. So, I can get some chip damage down uh, on this Blossom, and then I can swap out. I did not know what kind of attacking moves it had. But um, I, in this situation, I'm like, okay, I can go Gengar. Even if it does Strength Sap, I don't need my attack stat, which it does there. And I can hit it with a, a cheeky little uh, Sludge Bomb, which has a base 90 damage. It has Stab, and is pretty much everything you're going to want uh, for Gengar to do. And I am Choice Specs, so this is going to hit like a, like a damn truck. Uh, he does switch out though and goes into his own Gengar. I guess he predicted that and knew that it would do a lot of damage, but I still get the rocks off. I get the uh, rocks uh, hitting him and I do about maybe a quarter. It's not a lot. And I see that and I'm just like, ooh, that's, that's not good. And here I figured, okay, Tangrowth can take a hit. But <laughs> as soon as I clicked the switch button, I realized Tangrowth has like a base special defense of 50. This thing does, this thing looks at like a surf and dies. And unfortunately, uh, he's going to die really quick here. Um, I, he goes for the destiny button. I was like, okay. I thought that was an interesting move set. Uh, so I go for the knockoff just to knock off his item, obviously. But unfortunately, he is, uh, I totally forgot how weak a uh, special defense tank growth has. And it, here I'm just like, ooh, I don't have a lot of options. So I'll go into my own Gengar and hopefully I outspeed it or we have the speed tie and I win. And for this one, I got super lucky and I actually won the speed tie. And that means that we get the, uh, the KO on that guy. I do get curse bodied here, which I will say like... Gengar lost Levitate, but Chris Body is actually pretty good. <laughs> Cause even I was like, even I forget sometimes. Cause like right here, I go battle and it instantly puts me into the the no moves left of <laughs> the struggle. And I get the crit. I know that one. <laughs> that one probably mattered. Um, but yeah, so I go for the uh, struggle, forgetting like how Curse Body works. Cause I I, I don't know. But his Earthquake gets disabled, which, I mean, awesome. And uh, in this in this scenario, I'm like, okay, so he's got Dragonite and he's also got Blossom. This is going to be super easy. So I definitely outspeed the Dragonite. Uh, but I just wanted to double make sure, so I went with the Ice Shard. So that instantly takes it out. Uh, the rocks really help there since it didn't have its marble scale. And then I know the last thing on uh, on his list is going to be uh, the Blossom. And this one, actually, I did not uh, expect this one to, like, give me as much trouble as it did. At least for, like, as long as it lived. That Strength Sap, though, is absolutely ridiculous. And I don't know how that move, like, stays on, like, some Pokemon. It's crazy strong. And I go for the Icicle, uh... Icicle Spear here, hoping to get like more than two, but unfortunately I get the two. Uh, he goes for the Sleep Powder, which I I was like, okay, well maybe he's got like a setup, like a, I think it's called like Petal Dance or something. There is a setup move. I, I was thinking Quiver Dance, but I was like, okay, well, I might as well just stay in. There's no point in having this sleeping Pokemon. 
So he's just going to go for the strength stab, which is probably the best thing he could do. Uh, just to get that health back up. Because he is at like eh, three quarters, maybe. Okay, so he's going to be... Uh, so I'm just going to try and get out of sleep here, but unfortunately I don't. He goes for the moon blast just to uh, take out my whole one HP here. And at this point, I know I, I have pretty much got this game in the bag. I just go out to uh, to our, I would say, MVP of the game, Swallow. He did so much damage for this game. And I know I can just take this thing out with a Brave Bird. But yeah, that's going to be it for the battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you guys did like it, make sure to uh, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment if you guys like. That helps me a lot. And uh, if you guys want to see maybe some uh, profiles on like competitive Pokemon, that's kind of what I was thinking about doing here uh, for you guys to show you like just what some of these Pokemon can do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.